royal family keeping busy as the king's coronation date closes in and scrutiny of Prince Harry's visit ramps up. This morning, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, visiting a child care centre and giving a British TV host hints about what she'll wear. I said, I feel like you're going to wear blue. And she was like, there is a hint of blue. The royal family releasing birthday photos. This new picture of William and Kate's youngest son, Prince Louis, who turned five on Saturday. And on Friday, this picture of the Queen with some of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren at Balmoral Castle in Scotland on what would have been her 97th birthday. King Charles and Camilla, the Queen consort, spent the weekend at Queen Elizabeth's favorite retreat in Scotland, surprising the locals, a fan taking this video of the royal couple stepping out to visit a new restaurant. Though Prince Harry is set to join the rest of his family in less than two weeks, he and his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, continuing to attract distracting headlines. Meghan, who is not attending the May 6th coronation, now publicly responding to an article that claimed after that bombshell Oprah interview two years ago, she had an exchange of letters with King Charles that left her unhappy about some of her allegations of unconscious bias in the royal family. A spokesperson for the Sussexes calling the story false and frankly ridiculous, saying in part, the Duchess of Sussex is going about her life, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. And we encourage the tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting circus that they alone are creating. And we did reach out to Buckingham Palace for comment on this story. They declined to comment. And we should note that the Sussex spokesperson didn't deny the existence of a correspondence between Meghan and now King Charles. They only said that the reason she's staying behind is to be with the kids on Coronation Day, May 6th, otherwise known as Prince Archie's fourth birthday. <laughs> Guys? Well, that's a good excuse. All right. <laughs> we'll take that. Yeah. All right, let's get a close look at the coronation, the dynamics inside the royal family with NBC News royal commentator Daisy McAndrew. Okay, Daisy, let's talk about this back and forth of these letters that no one's actually seen the letters, but what do you make of all of it? I think it's really interesting that, as we were just hearing, there isn't a denial that these letters happened. And this, of course, was in that fevered time just after the, the infamous Oprah interview, where the allegation was that the royal family was racist. And that did huge damage to the standing of the royal family, I think not just in this country, but around the world. So it's not surprising that there was a back and forth, that King Charles wrote to Meghan expressing his sadness, and that Meghan replied, and we're led to believe, saying that actually she wasn't saying that this individual who'd said these horrible comments about the colour of her unborn baby skin was racist. She was saying it was an example of unconscious bias. Some would say that's slightly uh, dancing on the head of a pin. But I think as far as Meghan's concerned, there is a distinction between the two. OK, and Harry's coming to the coronation that we know. Is this just an example of kind of doing the bare minimum? Mm -hmm. Or perhaps is it a sign that you know, there's a thaw there between his father and himself. I think all of the optimists amongst us would be hoping that this was a bit of a sign that the frosty relationship uh, is starting to thaw. I think the relationship between Harry and his father is clearly a lot better and a lot closer than it is between Harry and William. And at the moment, there is no sign that that relationship is on the mend. We don't believe that they'll be seeing each other. We think that Harry will be coming in really in a, in a very brief visit, going to the coronation and then flying back uh, to California pretty much directly afterwards, which will be a great sadness to a lot of, of monarchists around the world. But tell us, Daisy, just quickly about the optics. So what is it going to look like? Will there be an opportunity if the royal family is sitting together somewhere? Will Harry be with them or will he be somewhere else? Well, there have been some, some quite strange reports over this weekend that the, the seating plan during the coronation has been sorted out and that Harry is allegedly going to be 10 rows back from the rest of the royal family. Personally, I'm taking those stories with a pinch of salt. I think it is a little bit of mischief making uh, in this run up, really, when none of us know what it's going to look like, whether there will be any sort of hugs or even you know, sort of smiles between the members of the royal family who we know do have real problems. But this is 
is such an important day, the most important day in King Charles's life. And Harry clearly is making a real effort to come over. Many people sad that Meghan's not joining him, but it does seem to be something of an, an elegant compromise. All right. Mm -hmm. Less than two weeks until yeah. the coronation. Daisy, thank you. Daisy. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.